Back up on HQ with some big news. With the 68th pick, the Tennessee quarterback, Hendon Hooker, is headed to the Lions. The SEC Offensive Player of the Year coming off a stellar season that unfortunately ended with a torn ACL. Hooker led the Vols to a 9-2 record a year ago, throwing 27 touchdown passes and just two interceptions. He becomes the first Vols quarterback to be drafted in rounds one through three since Peyton Manning in 1998. Back in studio, Ryan Wilson, Rick Spielman. Guys, a couple of Vols coming off the board. Let's start here with Hendon Hooker, the quarterback. Now a Detroit Lion, we thought that Detroit might want to add some depth at the quarterback position. They had a great piece here that's going to be afforded that time that he needs to get right. Yeah, and I believe that by going out and getting them, they know that uh, Jared Goff is not the long-term answer. He'll be the next couple of years. Perfect situation for Hendon Hooker to go in. There's no question about his arm talent, his athleticism. He's going to be 25, which to me, that doesn't matter anymore. He's coming off an ACL, so he gets a year to redshirt to learn under Jared Goff. This is a great fit for him. It's a great pick for the Detroit Lions. I agree because we were having conversations about will they take someone like Anthony Richardson in the first round. That didn't play out. They went in a different direction. It feels like a luxury pick, but when you're this good in terms of the depth and you've done the things you've done prior in this draft so far, Joe, this is a, a pick that makes a ton of sense and he will not have to be on the field. And by the way, he could end up being one of the best wide receivers, uh, excuse me, quarterbacks in this draft class four or five years from now. He is older than six starting quarterbacks from last year in the NFL. So uh, he is not a young man and he's coming into a situation where he can sit and he can wait.